this is where I've grown up, this is where I've lived. These are the mountains that Casey and I and my family have hunted in all of our lives. We'll be dead level right on top of them. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. When we headed to the meat locker to drop off Jordan's elk, got a surprise phone call from my son, Kaiden. And he said, hey, Dad, I want to go elk hunting. You are kind, yep. Luckily, we were only 15 minutes away from the house. So I called my wife, said, get all this stuff ready. So he's coming on his first elk hunt. <laughs> we get asked a lot, how on earth, I don't get along with my brother and my sister, how on earth can you sit next to your brother all day and work together? And in our case, build a business called Mountain Ops. And uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fighting. Yeah, a lot of fighting. A little bit of blood. There was blood that was shed. A couple cheap shots and a lot On of Casey's hard work. part, mostly. <laughs> Wind is terrible. I know. It's not like it was last night. It's rare. It's not something that I would say uh, everybody can do, but I can say that we do it. We do it pretty darn good. Yeah. go back up there and just see what we can glass up. I know there's some bulls up there. We just got to find saw, them. I saw the little where you guys see this bike yeah. right there. I saw two bodies just kind of flash. Mm -hmm. Go so they're moving. Moving right, moving. left or right. Is that where they were? It's gonna be 750. No chance. Where? Where? Right here, straight space. Where this opening comes I down. see him, yeah. That's right about just just in that next opening right there. Alright, I'm gonna run. Jordan spotted one elk about a thousand yards away, maybe two thousand yards, and I just started running. I left everyone in the dust. I got 300 yards from him and I tripped on a piece of sagebrush and scared him out, and two bulls stopped. I took a shot at the closest bull. And dropped him in his tracks. He is right there. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, I wish everyone could have been there for that. That was so intense. Oh. I just grabbed my gun and I said, I'm running. And I ran probably 2,000 yards without stopping straight uphill. And it's within perfect legal light. Last hour of the last night, we are tagged out. I can't wait for my son to experience this. This is so cool. He will not forget tonight. Oh, this is awesome. I can't believe that happened. 
<laughs> Look at that. Our core principles and values as a business, uh, one of the main things is conservation. We truly believe that conservation is going to be the preservation of hunting. And that is the future for not only us, but our children and our children's children. That's really big. <laughs> yeah, it is. Of uh, being able to go out and do what we've been doing this week, and that's hunting elk and having ma amazing experiences with family and friends. I can't believe you hiked all the way up here. Come here. Oh, you're so cool. Look at that. Look how cool he is. Is that pretty awesome? He wanted to just make sure that we got it done. And that is how we do it. We, we come together and where we might need to submit and the other one might need to take the front or I might need to come or if I need to double shine, uh, we get it done together. Big yelp and a woo! That, that partnership and that brotherhood I think gives us an incredible advantage.